room. We've got Carrie, we've got Stevie, we've got Lid on the sofa. We're in my beauty room. We're now going to get ready for New Year's Eve. I'm over here, gotta get across. Whether you like it, like it or not, there is a moment for us. Like more now you're all done. Everything I ever get from you is from Harris. Yeah, but everything that you have, everything I was going to buy you, you already have. I couldn't move off to wrap it, so I was too, too rushed. You can be bothered, I, I'm not, I didn't, they wrapped that one for me. I'm not very good at wrapping. It's not that great. Shut up! Salted caramel hot chocolate. Is this for Ali as well? Signature blend coffee. It is amazing. You'd love that as well, wouldn't you? It's so good. I'm with the hot studio. I've got to open this up. Okay. Because I was going to bring hot chocolate, wasn't I? But I didn't bring it, so now we're going to have hot chocolate. I bought hot chocolate as well. Not fancy hot chocolate because it's a treat thing, isn't it? Yeah, it's like a drink, really, especially in winter, so we can have hot chocolate to. This is a long bun, okay? Shut up! But like, on your desk. Oh my god, I've got long bun um, luggage tags. Yeah, like, like this. Isn't she hard to buy for? Because oh, she has everything. No, no, I love this. <laughs> I love the note. I, like, I literally go through notepads like you wouldn't believe, but this would be one of those ones that I just keep and I don't actually touch. You know when something's too nice to touch? Yeah. <laughs> Aww. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, 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 thank you. Yeah, I love the box as well. I love things that come in like. This is what I had to go to last night back in Paris when you all get. Yeah, yeah. Mine, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is yours. But I was like, because I've never, I've never really seen talk about Chanel Beauty stuff, but I was like. I did expect this. To be, to be honest, the packaging is nice enough anyway. <laughs> oh my god, you got me so much! Oh my god, I didn't even bought you hot chocolate. No! No, it's fine. So this what is, is this? like, this is, it reminds me of the By Terry, um, because you know oh, the bronze wow. look which we both Oh, yeah, it's a baby like, one. You know, you can like add this to your foundation, but it's like shimmery. Oh my god, I've never even seen this! I don't know, I haven't seen it either, so I'm not off my neck. Did you? Maybe my parents are playing funny now. Oh, it's probably run out of space then. Don't worry, it's fine. Oh, oh my god, you got me so much stuff! So this is a nice nude that I thought was like quite... Oh, perfect. Oh, yeah. Well, nice. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I was like, oh, I was gonna get one of the liquid liquids. One six eight. Oh my god, that's, that's really well nice. Really nice. Yeah, that's what I, I thought. I can't believe you got me all of this. And this is the mascara that everyone says is amazing. Um, so I've had a sample. Yeah. One. It's yeah. Really, really good. Yeah, I've got like a tiny sample one. Oh, okay. This is amazing. So I bought this, bought this myself as well. They got the night cream and mask. She's the worst. I was like, I was like, one for there, one for there. This is yeah. It's amazing. Really? Literally amazing. I used oh it on. Oh my god, I've had so these, like, nice. these bumps on the side of my mouth for like ages, but I didn't know what they were. I used it. I've got. Yeah, I've used that for, for two nights and it's like almost completely gone. Mm, thank you. You okay. so nice. They were so funny though, as well. They were really like, they helped me like pick what's good and stuff like that. So. Oh my See, I always think I'm quite pleased at present, but I don't think I'm that You're bad. bloody amazing at present. I'm, I'm quite used to buying more to the now. So this is my outfit for New Year's Eve. I haven't quite made any shoes on yet. But this is what I'm wearing. It's an ASOS pearl dress. Very New Year's Eve-y. And I guess I'll show you what all the other girls are wearing. I'm a little bit tipsy because Lydia's friends is one of those girls, you know, the feeder, the drink feeder, but you always need one of them at a party, so I guess it's good. The boys are outside getting the fireworks on and we haven't had dinner yet, so I'm going to show you what all the other girls are wearing. So we're ready. Lyd, what are you wearing? I have a free people dress on with my signature Stuart Waxman boot. And I'm wearing ASOS. Oh, and a doorbell. Ha ha ha!
Let it go. Here are the chefs. Say hello, chefs. No, you don't want to say hello? I have no idea what I'm doing. Just say hi. No, the chefs are completely ignoring us. So they're making homemade lasagna. And here is some of the stuff that we have. So much food. Let me tell you this, let me tell you right now Your exquisite kiss still burning Didn't know I missed this passion in life Now I'm addicted So now let me tell you why What is up with your smile? It's impossible, not melting Irresistible when I look through your eyes Not even sky's the limit I used to be satisfied It's already morning. Kerry and Stevie have cleaned the whole house, and this is the breakfast setup. Girls are cooking bacon sandwiches. 
We just made homemade croissants, 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 and they smell delicious. What have you got, Jack? Um, I've got a really warm plate of croissants here. Homemade, homemade croissants. Pan au chocolat and a sheer average croissant. Yes. Sheer average? Just your average. I've got the bacon all done. I've got my signature. I mean, they're not mine. I didn't make them. But my pink Tottenham capes. Oh my god, look at Ali. This is the best group of people. Look at him. Oh, he's so cute. He's cleaning up the fireworks. Oh, everybody's been like the best guest ever. Everybody's helped me clean. So I just wanted to end this vlog here. Last night was the best New Year's Eve party, so I really hope that you enjoyed watching it. It's New Year's Eve day. It's been a makeupless, showerless, braless day. I still have the same pajamas on that um I'm showing you my crutch. The same pajamas on that I had last night. I it was just the best night. I think you can see there was no planning. So I fully recommend just inviting your favourite people to your next New Year's Eve party. Don't plan anything and I'm guarantee it will be the best New Year's Eve you've ever had. It was the perfect ending to 2016. Spending it with most of my favourite people. I think that 2016 was a good year for me because I really made it my mission not to care what people think. So although I'm not quite there yet and it does come with age, my, recommend my recommendation to you to have a good 2017 is really try not to th care what people think. Obviously your loved ones, but don't care about pointless views and just focus on yourself and the people that you love. So that's my advice to a good year. Also, I think I'm being a bit slow, or maybe it's the uh, pile of cakes. I will eat all them, you know, and I'm not going to the gym tomorrow, and I'm not starting a diet tomorrow either. I don't care. I'm not bothered. So, yeah, probably I've got a sugar brain. Um, just thank you. Yeah, I wanted to say thank you for all your support. Thank you for supporting my new channel. I hope you enjoy the first video of 2017. I think that's all I wanted to say. Just thank you, really. Thank you for supporting me. And I think I'm in too much of a mom mood to say anything else, but I hope you enjoyed the video, and thank you for following me on my journey. Bye. I have one more thing. So I was watching that back, and after having this camera a week, I finally worked out how to have the sound on. It's more complicated than you can imagine. But I've just watched it back. First of all... I look horrific. Like I thought that like I look bad. And I know normally I don't normally look this bad, but it's New Year's Eve day. New Year's Day. So can you just appreciate that it is New Year's Eve day? Because I look I mean I could literally film this again and put some foundation on, but I can't be bothered. So please, you know, whatever. But I'm just gonna put it out there. I'm not going to be too controversial, but there's something that I really want to say that was part of me having a good year. And it doesn't apply to the blogging world. It applies to every industry that you work in. And if you have a hunky-dory job in an office, then that's I'm really happy for you. But if you're at work, 
because I had this at my old job, like nothing to do with blogging, and you know, I speak to all my other friends, and a lot of people have this. So if you're at work and there is somebody that like really just annoys you every day, drags you down, makes you feel negative, or you know, they're getting a promotion because of all the wrong reasons, my advice to you is do not focus on these people because focusing on these people is not going to make their success let me get this right focusing on, on them is not going to make them less successful it's just going to make you less successful so put all that energy into yourself and just don't focus on these kind of people because I started doing that there was people that were annoying me that I didn't you know, I'm not getting into it, but I completely separated myself from them. And I think that's also why I had a good year. So it applies to every industry, that it doesn't matter where you work. Go into your new, not your new job, but your, the new year. Starting a fresh, I don't give a about you. I'm going to focus on me. And just cut, cut that out. So yeah, I hope that made sense. It made sense to me and it worked for me. But my arm is aching now and that is all I wanted to say. So again, bye. That's it. Bye.